acute suppurative otitis media asom most commonly clinically found uh, condition most of the children uh, four to five year old children entering your cabin the moment he comes he will be holding his ear like this and he will come to you the parents will be telling the patient is a child is having ear pain sudden onset ear pain okay right so this is the most commonly found condition clinically so acute suppurative otitis media acute suppurative otitis media again otitis media you all know acute means it is acute sudden onset derive everything from the name name itself don't by heart it is of sudden onset and all acute conditions will be associated with pain patient will be complaining of severe pain in the ear and it is suppurative means pus formation will be there how pus formation occurs anti bacterial infections will be there so we will see step by step the stages of the acute suppurative otitis media yeah streptococcus pneumonia hemophilus influenza i am coming to that volume is full my volume is full you please see your volume audio visual fine now Okay, so let us not break the flow. So acute suppurative otitis media. So whenever there are children will be having most uh, most uh, recurrent episodes of upper respiratory tract infections. So any upper respiratory tract infection can be is easily prone to get uh, spread towards the middle ear through the eustachian tube. If you see, if you see the eustachian tube. This eustachian tube, you all know, this opens into your nasopharynx. That means upper respiratory tract. From the upper respiratory tract through the eustachian tube, local spread, it can easily spread into the middle ear. So that's how your middle ear gets repeatedly infected whenever there is an acute respiratory uh, tract, upper respiratory tract infections. And also, you all know, in children, the eustachian tube is short, wide, and straight so that helps even in more easier and faster spread of the infection from the nasopharynx into the middle ear so what happens in this case when the first stage is the first stage is stage of retraction first stage is stage of retraction in this stage of retraction see what happens here or stage of pubal block you can also call it stage of pubal block so what happens due to edema of the mucosal lining inside the eustachian tube why edema inflammation that is locally spread from your upper respiratory tract so once this inflammation spreads into the eustachian tube once the inflammation spreads into the eustachian tube the mucosa inside the eustachian tube will get edematous once the mucosa inside a closed lumen tube like structure gets edema what happens it will block the lumen of the tube so in tubal block stage there will be eustachian tube block there will be block of the eustachian tube okay so there is block of eustachian tube and due to this block of the eustachian tube here the eustachian tube is blocked and once the eustachian tube is blocked what happens there will be whatever the air that is present in the middle ear will get absorbed slowly into the surrounding blood vessels okay so whenever there is block of the eustachian tube what happens the air present in the middle ear will get absorbed into surrounding blood vessels isn't it okay so already present air is getting absorbed into surrounding blood vessels so now what is happening there is no air now once the all the present air gets absorbed into the surrounding blood vessels there will be no air in the middle ear right so no air means it is a vacuum means it is exerting a negative pressure so negative pressure builds up in the middle ear so once the negative pressure builds up what happens the tympanic membrane is pulled inward or tympanic membrane gets retracted 
So due to the retraction of the tympanic membrane, forcible retraction of the tympanic membrane, due to the negative pressure in the middle ear, which is again due to the block in the eustachian tube. So this uh, forcible pull of the tympanic membrane, retraction of the tympanic membrane will cause severe pain to the patient. Okay. So that's why the patient will come to you with complaint of pain. Okay. Clear? Okay. So this is about your stage of tubal block. In this stage, the patient will be complaining of pain in the middle ear. I think is it clear? Now I am going to the next stage, the second stage that is pre-suppurative stage. Now due to continuous retraction of the tympanic membrane inward, pulling of the continuously, the eardrum is being continuously pulled inward. So what happens to the blood vessels that are present in the tympanic membrane? You see the blood supply of the tympanic membrane will come like this, okay, till the tip of the handle of the tip of, tip of the malleus, ambo. Once the blood vessels come from here, they will get radiated all along towards the periphery of the tympanic membrane. Normally, these blood vessels are not visible, normally. Once due to the negative pull or the retraction of the tympanic membrane, once the Due to the negative pull of the retracted, retra negative pull or retraction of the tympanic membrane, the blood vessels in this tympanic membrane will become congested. So, already present blood vessels which are invisible earlier, now due to their engorgement, they are now visible. So, normally how the blood vessels are arranged, they are arranged like a cartwheel. So, now the blood vessels will be appearing like a cartwheel here. That's why in pre-suppurative stage of ASOM, cartwheel tympanic membrane appearance is present and in this stage, even due to more retraction and due to more congestion, more inflammation going on, the pain of the patient will still further increase and blocked sensation also will further increase in the patient. Is it clear?